Hi, my name is Kiera. I'm a senior from Detroit, and I'm majoring in general studies in the College of LSNA. And um, just to tell you a little bit about my uh, transfer experience, um, when I first started school, uh, I went to a for-profit college, which basically took my money and um, didn't really um, do nothing but leave me in a bunch of debt. I was a little discouraged about school, but then I went back um, and my grandmother got sick, so I had to take a break. Um, and then finally in 2017, uh, I enrolled at Henry Ford College and um, it was just like one of the best decisions I had ever made because prior to that, uh, when I attended Macomb, I had no support. Um, I took a lot of classes that didn't count for anything because I didn't know what I was doing because my mother didn't graduate high school. And um, that was the first time attending Henry Ford, I actually felt like I had the support I needed to succeed. And I did. Um, I joined so many different clubs, um, but the three that really stood out to me was the um, African American Association, the Black Males and Queens Focus Group, and the Democracy Institute. Uh, the Democracy Institute helped to um, promote civic engagement. The African American Association um, worked to promote um, workshops and opportunities for students of color to be involved and feel included because it was a um, it was a small uh, percentage of African American students on campus. And um, the Black Males and Queens Focus Group, uh, through there, I joined and became a board member on the Michigan Sociological Association. I've been invited to several different. Um, schools including um, Oberlin College, uh, Michigan State University, and also Grand Valley State University to uh, speak. As a field organizer, I host several workshops. Um, also, when I joined uh, Optimize, I became a peer mentor for transfer students and we host transfer student nights. We, uh, you know, just promote what the well-being of transfer students and work with them, whether it's helping them find their classes or working with community colleges and helping students prepare for their applications. Hello everyone, my name is Paco Lishu, and today I'll be reflecting my own experience during this fundamental speaking course. I am so glad that I was fortunate enough to be part of this class this semester. This course has been so helpful on a personal level and educational level as well. In the beginning, I was a bit shy and nervous, yet throughout every speech I have presented, from my self-introductory speech to my demonstration presentation, every speech helped me get out of my comfort zone. I became much more comfortable and confident with each speech. I learned the importance of public speaking. Giving a speech comes with a lot of responsibility. Being nervous is expected during any speech public speech, and the greater speakers like Abraham Lincoln have had stage fright. Before any public speech, you must have done your research on the topic you choose to discuss. Public speaking is a way of communicating. Your message should always be clear and direct with your audience. Always practice, be prepared, and think positive. My favorite speech this semester was a demonstration speech presentation. I had so much fun demonstrating how to do a charcuterie board. I realized how far I came from the beginning of the semester, and I was much more spontaneous and confident. However, this semester wasn't easy. My mother and brother, who I haven't seen in a year and a half, came to visit. Yeah, my brother tested positive for COVID. Since they came, they have been both in quarantine, and I didn't even get a chance to see them. And my older brother, who recently got discharged from the hospital, is now recovering recovering from a very bad pneumonia because of COVID. I'm sharing these personal stories because I want to say that I'm so grateful to have had a kind, caring, and thoughtful professor like yourself. Each Saturday, you start the class by asking how everyone was doing, and that shows how much you care about your students' struggles. It was a pleasure and honor to have you this semester. You made this class fun and memorable. Thank you so much, Dr. Rogers. The speech class has been amazing and it's so sad to see it end. When I first started speech, I thought it was going to be boring and it was going to contain uh, lame speeches. But I can tell you that is not true. Dr. Rogers made this class fun and formatted the speeches to where we can uh, to make them enjoyable. 
Dr. Roch is one of the uh, best professors I've ever had at Henry Ford uh, College. He is so understanding because if you were sick or something came up, he would give you extensions if you needed them. He is also very nice, and I can firmly say I've never seen him mad or in a bad mood while on Zoom, which was great because he made our class atmosphere amazing. I feel like this class made me better at presenting speeches and increased my confidence in presenting speeches. Because when we when, uh, we would have to present in Zooms, I would get nervous. But up to the last one, which was the t-shirt presentation, I can I can totally say that I was confident when I was presenting. And for an online class, this class was great. But I wish it was in person because I know I would have learned more. And ultimately, it would have been a better experience. I still am amazed because I didn't think I would like this class so much. That's exactly why you should never judge something too early. Uh, when we made our informative speeches... And our persuasive speeches, it taught me a lot on how they were supposed to be formatted. And it helped that Dr. Raja showed us how to do it and present the video. Very interesting interesting and great to turn in. Every speech was great, but my favorite was the TikTok one because we got to pick a scene and remake it. And I feel like it brought out the creative side of the students and it was amazing. And it really does suck to see the class the class is over, but I hope I have uh, Dr. Rogers' professor again. So, thank you.